All right, we are logged into the Moodle site, and what you will see here, let me, is two items here, a fake test and a one-try fake test. First, what you should do is go in and experiment on the fake test, which is what we're going to do on this video to give you an idea of how to take these tests to get your partial credit. So with that, let's go in here and take a look at it. Okay. We'll go fake test and go unlimited attempts. Now, this is the unlimited attempt version. And the other versions you get multiple. You only get one attempt. This one you get multiple attempts. So let's attempt the quiz now. Now, this is to get your your partial credit. So what you should see is a test that actually would have uh, your version there, not the one you see here. Um, so what instead of this problem, you would see your own problems there. Um, but with that being said, this is a good example because it's just two trig problems. So if you just go in here and start typing in some numbers like 12, or let's say uh, we know that's uh, 120. We know that's not 120. But if you submit, okay, the first thing you see is marks for this submission 0 out of 45. This submission attracted a penalty of 4.5. Now let me show you some uh, important features here. Uh, so this is where I read just a second ago. Here's the thing. This, this first problem is worth 45 points. And it says so up here. Right now you have 0 out of 45. You answered it incorrectly one time. And you sub attracted a penalty of 4.5. So each time you answer it incorrectly, you get 10% off of the 45 points. Now, this 10% could change for particular problems, but throughout the rest of our semester, it's going to be 10% per submission. Um, so if you miss it the first time and you get it the second time, you would only receive that 4.5%. Uh, now, that being said, Soon the way I'm going to grade it is I'm going to allow this system to grade it. I'm not going to grade it by hand. I'm going to take your answers that you do in your in-class and put right here and then hit it one time and come back out of it. I'll let you come back into it later and, and uh, fill this out. Now, I may alter that approach depending on how much time intensive it is and maybe make this a percentage and add on. We'll see how this all goes. But that's still up in the air. What is not up in the air is how you do, uh, how you go about doing this test. Now let's say we decide we really want to get the right answer. So let's take a look at this and you've got a calculator somewhere and if you don't you can find one. So let's draw one up. We might want to see the one that has the cosines and sines on it. Um, and so we might go in here and say 15 times uh, sine. Oh, oh, mistake. This is not this. This is not that kind of calculator. So I have to do 15. I'm sorry. Where's the clear? Got to do 45, take the sine of it, then multiply it times my 15. So this is showing me 10.6. Now I'm going to experiment a little bit and I'm going to say instead of that, let's say I got off by like 8 or 9, let's say 9.5. So let's go in here, put in 9.5. Okay, now it still says that it's incorrect. Let's go on up to like 10. And what you'll see here is all of a sudden 
you get back something. Now let's review everything, make sure we understand where everything is and what's going on here. Um, first, we submitted we submitted this twice incorrect. So 4.5 we lost for the first submission. For the second one, we lost that. So grand total runs about nine points. So we've lost nine points. Now, if you look at this, that means we made 36 out of 45, or 36 is the amount we scored if we had 36. And my nine points, I should get 45. So the nine points, so in other words, you know, 45 minus my nine points gives me 36 points I've got. It tells you what your marks are. It told you marks for this submission with a previous penalty of 35 over 45. So I've already lost 9 points, but I've got it correct this time. Now let's address another issue. The other issue is, if you look back at the calculator, you will find that, let me draw it back up, the calculator had 10 points. 6066. Now, it's often the case that people are wondering uh, how much, how how is it that, what is it that this thing gets, okay? I've got my 10.6066. Generally, what I do is I give a 1% uh, mess up. Uh, fee, so to speak, or one percent ban. So if I say one point, I just shot slide the decimal over. Then that means you can answer. Okay, if you've got this being ten point six zero six six, and then you move over and move back, and this value becomes what? Well. It, this value is 9.54594 and this value is here. hang on eleven point six six seven two each one of these has a delta of this one percent tolerance so what that means is that you should be able to enter anything from nine point five four up to eleven point six six and it will grade it as being correct so just remember that this is generally a 1%, I'm, I'm sorry, a 10% uh, shift. Uh, that's a pretty broad range. Uh, I've, I've already... But... Um, so scratch that and put down 10%. Sorry about that. So these are pretty broad ranges. Um, however, usually you're either right on it or you're so far off that that 10% doesn't matter. So just be aware that if you there's it's a pretty liberal range right here. So you shouldn't have any complaints about that. And if you get it wrong, then you really need to go back and figure out what you did wrong because if you typed it in wrong, it probably is wrong somewhere along the way. Now, as far as what you can do now, now let me let me knock this thing off. Hang on. Okay. So at this particular point, I could start messing with this. I can put in a 4. It's going to come back and say incorrect. However, Look up here, you've still got your 35 out of 45 points up here on your marks. Uh, you can put in anything you want. It keeps, uh, 
you know, your marks for this submission is 0 out of 45. This submission attracted a penalty of uh, 4.5. You can come back and put in your 10. Now, what you notice is this never changed. It takes the highest grade. You can mess with it at that point. Once you get it, you get it. It doesn't give you an opportunity to mess each individual score up. Now, let's say you go back down. Okay, so you just start plugging away. I'm just going to submit uh, here. Just submit some numbers. I might be able to get it, and I might not. Okay. Looks like, oh, it looks like I got it. Okay, so just randomly poking, I got the answer, but I got 38 out of 38.5 out of 5.5. Now, the reason I was able to do that is because if I just looked at this, I knew that the 3, you know, anything that has a 3 over a 15, that's going to be a fairly small angle. So I was just sort of poking through the range. Now, that's probably not a good idea because I already lost points by doing it incorrectly. Now, here's what I can do. There's three buttons down here. These buttons are your friends or your enemies, depending on the, what happens to you along the way. You don't want them to be your enemies, that's for sure. So let's go over them and sort of take a look. You can save your test as you're going without submitting. Um, you can also uh, submit the page, and you can submit them all and finish. Now, this is the dangerous button right here, because once you finish it, okay, now, we're looking at the fake test that has unlimited attempts, which means if I submit all and finish, I can go back and retake this test. In your cases, you cannot. So when you submit all and finish, that's it. You're done. You can save the test without submitting it, and then you can come back to it. So if, say, you're late for class or something and you just want to save this thing and go on, you can do it. So let's approach it that way, and we're just going to save it. We're going to hang on for a second. And I guess we got that. I don't know. Let me, let me click it again. So we saved it, hopefully. We're going to see what happens. So you go on about your way. You come back to the test one day. Continue the last attempt. Okay, you have attempt number one. Now, we have to remember these are unlimited attempts for this one, but yours are not going to be unlimited. So you have attempt one completed. Now let's continue the last attempt. Now already you've scored the maximum here. So let's say you've got this one correct and you run out of time and you haven't answered this one yet but you want to think about it but you're late for class this is where you want to just save without submitting um, now what it's done from your perspective is it has not okay go back to the unlimited attempts it has not put a, a score there yet you don't have a grade so let's do it continue the last attempt this time, I'm going to submit the page. Okay, so I've submitted it. Okay, now let me go back to my course. So I go somewhere, come back two or three hours later. I look at my unlimited attempt one. Okay, it looks about the same. Now, it's only when you're done. Now, when you get a green box and another green box and how many of her problems you've got them all answered and you've got them all answered correctly now I can't emphasize this one enough the only way you can get credit at this point is to hit this submit all and finish this records it in the book you are about to close this attempt once you've closed the attempt you will no longer be able to change your answers Give it a second. It's recording things. Okay. At this point, it tells you your grade. It tells you when you completed, how long it took you. Uh, it tells you every single uh, value you put in. I, I attempted it twice. 
and then I got my uh, correct answer uh, then I played with it remember I started playing with this thing if I want to look at the score or the sheet what I did or this particular problem say I can hit that and take a look at it um, so here I closed it and graded it on that now down here did the same thing I attempted the first response was 3 6 9 11 and on the 11th it got the value and it went on so I'm reviewing the exam uh, it doesn't tell me uh, exactly what the score or what the actual value it wants to see there but it tells me I'm within the bands and I'm okay I can hit the finish review now you see I have a test in there now we have a reattempt quiz button here in which I can reattempt this quiz now yours will never have that when you're looking for your credit it's always going to have basically uh, nothing here and it'll all be uh, up here so let's uh, go take a look at that and let's take the one one quiz now once you get used okay if you want to get used to it more and more you can reattempt this quiz and see what happens and then you can do stuff like this you can say well I'm gonna submit them all and finished now this is for retaking the quiz let's go back let's look at the unlimited attempts now it says okay you've actually taken this tips twice you scored zero and you scored 74.5 it pulled down the highest grade so you can keep reattempting the quiz but this is not what you're gonna see what you're gonna see will be a one attempt or a one try quiz okay had to go fix it real quick here let's go back fake test one try okay now I had to fix that um, once you hit this attempt your quiz the quiz is limited to one attempt you're about to start a new attempt do you wish to proceed okay now your buttons down here are the same you get the same three buttons now I can't emphasize this enough but uh, let's see here's your 10 let's say you got that on the first hit and let's say you miss this one and then you're late for class and you want to get out of there so you can hit the submit page and go on to class you can come back log in later and you can see the attempt one is still open and it's still going you can attempt the last continue the last attempt and pick up the problem there so let's say you come back in you say it's 12 or something oh and you got it so at this point you can submit the page again but if you do this and you wander off and you come back and take a look at your your grade book your fake test sits there but I have no score in the fake test one try there's no score there yet this is a fake student anyway so there should be a bunch of scores over here in your other stuff but this this one does not exist if you want to get it recorded you've got to go back to your test continue the last attempt look at what you've got submit all and finished you're about to close this attempt once you close the attempt you will no longer be able to change your answers but that being said you know you will score what you've got in the scorebook you've got a 94.5 and here's your here's your questions your review everything's there so you can review what you've answered you can do what you want but you go back 
you try hit that again it'll tell you your score this will ba t basically take you to your review um, you can hit continue and it takes you back to the sheet to the main page you can hit grades and you'll notice it ended up scoring your your quiz there so with that I think that covers um, how to go and get your your points back I'm unsure of how I'm going to take care of your first attempt um, but I'll tell you in class as time goes by how that goes one of the things is uh, if you skip doing this of course you're not going to get anything in there um, so the only way to get this extra credit or this partial credit is for you to go and rework these things so with that I'm going to go on and end this video and we'll go from there <laughs>